Good morning, everybody. You know, the last few days have been a weird couple of vlogs. Some of them have been a little bit longer than I wanted them to be. Today, I'm gonna try to shoot for six or seven minutes. I feel like that is kind of the sweet spot for these daily things. Any longer than that, I feel like it's just a little bit too long. So I'm gonna try to hit the six or seven minute mark today. I don't know how I'm gonna do that because when I'm shooting, I don't know how long these are gonna be, but hopefully that's what's gonna happen today. So if you've been watching me for a little while, you'll know that I use what is called a switch pod. Now this is like a selfie stick, but it's also a cool little tripod that flips out. It was developed by a couple of loggers specifically for the purpose of logging and pointing a DSLR or larger type camera at yourself. The only thing that's not awesome is that this thing does not have a ball head attached to it. Now most people use a big ball head like this and they and this actually uses a plate. So you take this plate, you screw it to the bottom of your camera, you just sort of leave it there. And then whenever you need to put this on a tripod, you can just slide the whole camera onto the ball head without having to screw a whole thing in, right? Problem with this is that this is very heavy. And for the longest time, I had a large ball head like this attached to this tiny little switch pod like this. And not only is this much heavier than it needs to be, it's much more obnoxious than it needs to be. But SwitchPod knows all this. So what they did is they created the SwitchPod ball head, which is actually plateless, which is awesome because all the other plateless ball heads that I was seeing were like, most of them are made of plastic and this is actually made of metal. What makes this thing awesome is that it's actually really light and there's no plate to leave on the camera. So it actually takes a lot of the weight from this whole thing out of this. So this is a good thing for vloggers. I like this a lot. Now the other day, the bottom part started to screw off here, which is not something I've ever had an issue with this thing. And I realized it's threaded, but it's also glued onto the bottom there. But when I unscrewed it all the way off because the glue had started to come undone, I noticed it had this mount. Now, what I wanna do today is confirm that this is a microphone mount adapter. And if it is, I have awesome plans for this, but I don't have a microphone stand here. So I gotta go over to the storage unit today and see if uh, this is the same size of the, as the microphone stand. I'm sure it is. I'm looking at it and I'm positive it is, but I could be wrong. So today I wanna go over there real quick. I know I spent a lot of time over there, but that's because everything I own is in the storage unit. So let's go over to the storage unit real quick. Okay, so luckily what I'm looking for is right here. This is like a music microphone stand. I'm hoping that this thread right here fits that switch pod ball head. Let's find out. Like I said, the bottom plate here screws off. And that looks like it's the same size to me. <laughs> oh yeah. That works exactly how I was hoping it would. Okay, now I've got a really cool idea. We gotta get back to the house and try this now. So this is what it looks like. Awesome. Okay, so why is this a big deal? Why is it awesome that this switch pod ball head fits on this microphone stand? I will explain. So for a while, I've had the intention of buying something that fits onto this microphone arm. I've just not gotten around to it. And the other day when the base came off of the SwitchPod ball head and I noticed it was about the same size, I was like, oh cool, now I don't have to buy something. This is the reason this is cool. Because of my new desk setup, the height of this thing can officially go above my head. So the way I've got this set up now, I'll just set this up in front of the camera like so. I'm gonna need a couple things to do what I wanna do here. Number one, being my Video Mic Pro Plus from Rode. This has a uh, cold shoe adapter on it. I'm also going to need my small thread adapter, but this adapter is going to let me screw this onto here, and then I can screw the microphone onto this. This is working exactly the way I was hoping it would. So now I now have full control over this mic. And now you're wondering, okay, cool, but if all you have is this little tiny thing here, how are you going to get the audio from this into your camera? In my backpack here, 
I have the final piece of the puzzle. Move that out of the way a little bit. This is the Rode Video, or what is this called? The Rode Mic Go or something? This is essentially Rode's wireless kit. Now I don't know how many people know this. If you don't have this, you may not know this, but this is a microphone and it's built into this so you can actually wear it just like that, but that looks terrible. And they actually have a microphone input on this thing. So this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna plug this into that, and then I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna plug that in there. Okay, so maybe this is the last piece of the puzzle. This is just a Velcro wire organizer thing. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this on here, and then that gives me a place to clip that. That way it's not just hanging there. And now I take this piece, I take the output on this, and I go into the input on the camera here, and I have a wireless boom setup. That is amazing. Like I said, this may not be usable for everybody. This is just a hack with the specific equipment that I have, but I thought this was awesome. The moment I figured out that ball head can go onto this microphone arm, I am now going to be able to do talking head stuff with this microphone. I'll put it there just so you guys can see it. But I'm now gonna be able to set this up when I do desk videos. Now, why is this important? Because I've been thinking about doing some crazy format changes on this channel. Like I've said multiple times through Vlogtober here, Vlogtober is giving me a chance to mess with the format of this channel. And since having gone through this and making a video every day for over two weeks now, I've realized I really like doing movie content. Now, this is an idea I've had for a long time. For about six months, I've had another channel on the back burner called Mike the Finder Reviews. And I've wanted to do movie reviews for a long time. It's just not something I've gotten around to. My initial intent was to put that on a different channel. I should also mention, by the way, you're hearing the onboard microphone on the camera right now. You'll hear this probably tomorrow or the day after. The reason I want stuff like this is so that I can start doing movie reviews on this channel. Now, I know that that is a far, far leap for most of you guys of why you have subscribed, but this is my channel and I don't really wanna start fresh on a whole nother channel all over again. Now I'm not saying I'm not gonna do vlogs and I'm not gonna do Mike the Finder episodes because that's not true. I am still going to do all of those things. I also want to do movie review stuff. And as you guys know, I like horror a lot. So a lot of my stuff is going to be horror related. If you're not okay with that, that's totally cool. I'm going to finish Vlogtober up doing only vlogs, of course. There may be more movie recommendations recommendations or whatever in the future as far as that goes. I also, as its own separate thing on this channel, want to start doing more content with movies and reviewing them and recommending them. And I have a lot of cool ideas for all that stuff. So this is something I've been kicking around for a while. I know that Mike the Finder episodes and my vlogs are total polar opposite of horror movies and reviews and all of that kind of stuff. So I understand all of that. If I'm going to be creatively fulfilled and creatively happy doing this channel over the long term, I'm just going to do what I want want to do when I want to do it. And that's part of my whole thing with rebooting this channel and trying to make more content. So that's sort of where all of this is coming from. I'm gonna leave the vlog there for today. I'm sure this was over seven minutes. I'm like, even though I said at the beginning, I was gonna try to keep it under, but I'm super excited about where I'm headed on this channel. I've given a lot of thought about uploading this stuff onto a new channel. But I just feel like it's not that hard of a turn based on the content I've been making over the last two weeks for me to sort of start leaning into that a little bit more than I have before. Vlogtober is going to continue as planned and then after Vlogtober, we'll see what happens. I'm gonna make whatever I wanna make. So I hope you guys are cool with that. Before we go, I will do my horror recommendation for the day. So speaking of movie reviews, this is actually one that I do wanna do a movie review on because I'm actually a huge fan of this movie. And the movie I'm talking about today is going to be Firestarter from 1984. If you've never seen this movie, it's pretty cool. It's actually got Drew Barrymore when she was a kid. Um, I think this is right around E.T. I'd have to look up when E.T. came out. She's right around the same age from when she did E.T. So this is a super fun movie. I won't say too much about it, but if you read Stephen King books, you've definitely heard of this book. If you have not seen the movie, I highly suggest the movie. It's not as good as the book, but that's just how these things go. This movie is really fun. It's really cool. It's horror, but it's not... Uh, the other day, you remember when we were talking about beginner, intermediate, and advanced horror? I would call this beginner horror. And strictly because there's not a ton of gore. There's not a lot of the horror tropes that usually make up like advanced horror. This is a super fun movie. If you've never seen it, I highly suggest it. As you guys know, I don't like to go into plot points or any of that stuff on these recommendations. I just like to throw them out there and see what you guys think. So hopefully you guys like Firestarter because I'm, I'm really into this movie and eventually I will probably
probably do a movie review on that. Anyway, thank you guys for watching today and I will see you tomorrow with another episode of Vlogtober. Mike the Finder out. See ya.